Right, it's that time. Let's talk about batteries. I'm a bit late releasing some of these uh, open source projects that I made in the last few months. So we've been dealing with a lot of lithium iron phosphate in this form, right? The LED 60 cells. And we've made all kinds of different ones, right? But uh, this one, I've released it. This one, I released it. And one of the most popular ones, well, I guess this would be it. These, we've made them um, into different products, sort of like this one. This one has just like a case around it, where this one is just the bare basic, the, men, the bare minimum, right? It's just uh, the bus bar PCB on here. But then this one has the full. But people have asked about making a bigger battery right this one could put out 600 amps and then people are like well what do we want to do 10,000 watts right like in a car audio right and so about 12,000 watts or something like that. then i'm like well just use two of those batteries and they're like yeah but can can we make a bigger one and the answer is yes we can and there's two ways of doing that right so you have one battery here with four cells one battery here with four cells so if you combine those like this then now these two batteries could be one battery and it'll have twice the capacity and twice the power output. So what you would have to do is just make this board longer and then rearrange the, the way you connect them, right? So I would connect them like two in parallel and then the connect these ones here and then connect these two to these two and then these two to these two and then these two are going to be the, the positive and then the negative sort of like that right so there's that way you could do it but there's also another way because these are going into right automotive audio then a lot of the time there's space constraints so there's not a lot of space to put these batteries so something like this large long like this would work but sometimes they want it even long maybe longer but skinnier so there are different ways of combining these batteries to make the same the cells to make the same battery right so another way you could do it, it would be like this so this would be kind of a fatter uh, configuration here, but it's the same thing. Four, four, four cells in series, but eight cells, right? Two cells in parallel. So we'd do the same thing. So in order to do that, what you could do is have this to be the main positive, for example, and then, then these would connect to those, and then these would connect to these two over here. And then these would connect to these two, and then this would be the main negative, right? So these would be your terminals here. So this is the, the one that we're going to make today. Eventually, we're going to make all of them. I have made all of these because people have asked for it and they requested it. But today, I'm going to show you how to do this. Combine two of these right there to make it into one single 8-cell 12 volt battery that would be twice the capacity, right? So this one is 74 amp hours. So now we're gonna have uh, 148 amp hours and then not 600 amps, but 1200 amps. And it's gonna require some ingenuity on our part to be able to achieve that. But first let's deal with the main bus bar PCB. Let's okay, so we're gonna start recording here. Okay, so here's our file. And this has gone through many iterations, look, at least five iterations. We've been testing things in and out. We tried and we made a bunch of mistakes and we've been fixing them, right? So it's taken five tries to get here, but here we are. So let me show you what it is that we are gonna achieve there, right? So if you click here, if you click here. Okay, so that's the border, the, that's the outline. And you see it has, um, well, the, the dimensions, you know, we just taken them because we've been using this for a long time. But here are the holes for the vents. These are, I guess, somewhat important. But these, in the case of these cells, will vent. Then it'll it'll have the the gases will have a place to go. These holes right here, it's for you to be able to put this board all the way to the bottom, sit right on top of the cells. Before we were using, um, you know, spacers and stuff. And then we were using those spacers to, to help carry the current. But because this is such a beast, 1,200 amps, that's quite a power, then we need all the real estate, right? Those, those bolts on those, on those cells are, are not very long. And so we need every, every millimeter, right? So to, to put materials because it needs to carry. If you think about it, the, this portion right here, has to carry 1200 amps which is a lot and so in order to do that you have to use really thick materials uh either copper or aluminum in this case we've chosen aluminum after many you know uh iterations and many tests 
but we need all the stuff. So that's what these holes are there for, right? So these are little pucks that stick out on every cell and they're only uh, present there on the positive side uh, on, of the cell, right? So there's the two positives over here, over here, and then over here. So that's what those are there. Uh, then, obviously, we have our connector here that is for you to install a, a BMS. This is for a balancer right here. So it's basically the same, the same cables, the same uh, pins are right here. They're just transferred. Uh, this one will allow you to maybe like connect several of these batteries together in parallel and then put one of these cables in here and now the, even the balance wires are parallel and then you can have like one balancer that maybe balances the whole thing uh in theory that's how that would work uh we haven't tried that too much because this is a giant battery so not a lot of people are building like larger systems in this right um so yeah that's i guess uh I don't know if there would be any issues, but these are brand new cells, so there shouldn't be a lot of issues there. It should be able to carry that. Um, let's see, what else? Now let's start looking at the layers. So here's the bottom layer, and this is the copper that we're using to do that, right? So of course, these two pins here, these two uh, terminals are, are joined together with this uh, layer, and then these two are connected to the same, but then also they need to connect to the next set of cells. So that's why this goes across like that. And then these four have to be connected together, these four terminals, and then the same thing here. So it's a very simple, very, very simple circuit that you have to achieve here. And then of course we have these vias in here to connect the lower layer, this is the lower layer, with the upper layer. And the upper layer, it just basically just mirrors the, the lower layer. This is pretty, pretty simple. And then just to run, the uh, populate the, the, the connectors here, here are the balance leads, right? So the main negative, that has to go over here to the main negative and then runs right to the most negative uh, pad over here. And the same thing, and it'll go down, right? C1 or C2 is gonna be right here. And then C3 um, is gonna be over here. And then C4 is gonna be over here. Yeah, and then most positive is gonna be over here, right? So that's it. When you look at, let's look at the thing here. This is a 3D uh, rendering here. This is what the board is gonna look like. And of course this, uh, this is exposed uh, trace, right? Aluminum, uh, not aluminum, copper. So that when this makes contact with the cells, then there's an even, uh, well, there's more surface area that has to make the connection there, right? Again, remember, these, every one of these things is gonna, supposed to carry about 600 amps. And so this, all this stuff helps, right? So that is the main board. And this is the part that we're gonna make available uh, open source. So you can just go to our sponsor. This video is sponsored by pcbway.com and then you go click on the link on the, uh, the description of this video and then you can click on the project and then you can download the CAD file, the, the Gerber file for this and then print it yourself. You can make changes or whatever and then, or you could just buy it directly there by ordering it and you have to order a minimum of five. That's the only downside to using this thing. But then you can make up to five of these for not much money, right? All the uh, engineering is done here for you. So let's look at the, at the one of these already installed in the batteries. All right, so here is the final build of the battery, right? So here's the, uh, the PCB uh, now installed in eight cells, right? And as you can see here, what we had to do was uh, just reinforce this PCB using aluminum here, right? And of course, we tried doing uh, copper and it works much better, but the problem is that the audio uh, markets are full of people that, well, they don't know much about batteries and when they would see a thin piece of copper in there, right? They were like, well, that doesn't work as good as aluminum, right? And so what I found myself was having to argue with people and having to make videos to prove that, that they could a thin piece of copper would carry 1200 amps and so, I just kind of got tired of like arguing with, with like with my would be customers, right? And so, so I just kind of gave in and was like, okay, you want a big chunky piece of aluminum? There we go. <laughs> it's actually easier. 
Um, it's about the same price. Uh, and, you know, it achieves, it does this, the, the job. It does the job well. And it, I don't have to convince people that it actually works. Where, like, with the other copper, the, uh, you know, layers of, of um, PCB, I would have to do that, right? So that's why we ended up here. And this is the reason why I'm doing this video now. It's like now it's the, the, the design is finalized. We went through a lot of iterations. Again, we tried many different ways. This, the shape was a little bit different, all this other stuff, right? But finally, this is it. Uh, this one doesn't have the thing, but it's, yeah, it's five iterations, version 1.5. And of course, here is the connector, the green connector and this little cable here. And this is how you do the balancer. And this is one of the balancers that I like, again, because it shows you where the batteries are at at any given time. And then you could choose to balance them or to stop the balancing or, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, where the other balancers, you're kind of just flying blind you don't know what they're doing you don't know if they're working they might be dead and they might actually be causing yourselves to uh, uh go out of balance right and you would know because there's no screen on all the other ones and they cost about the same so that's why i like using these so anyways by the way uh of course this is the basic battery it will do 1200 amp peaks for 10 seconds while staying above 12 volts which is like, what, 14,000 watts or something like that, right? 14 kilowatts. It will do 800 amps continuous until the battery depletes itself, right? So fully charged, fully discharged. And also, it will do it the way it is right now, but you could also get different options like sort of these uh, compression plates. We have these compression plates that are sort of single cell, but then we have the double cell that go all the way across, and then you just put rods in here, and then you can compress them that way, and then obviously they serve dual purpose. You could also use these to mount those to a surface uh, in your vehicle, or in the wall, wherever you're gonna install this battery, right? That is kind of like a midway point, right? A middle of the road thing where you have like a lot of functionality, but it's still like a bare basic, it's like a basic design. We've also made like a full on battery box. This is a custom steel case, sort of like that one there, but this on this size for this battery right here. And this, once you're done, you put a PCB on top of it here with two big terminals in there. And then all the uh, cell, the interconnects in between the cells, those are all hidden away. So you can't touch them. You can't uh, short them, accidentally short them, stuff, sort of stuff like that. And this is uh, you're much better protected, right? Now you can hit it in there. You can put it in the back of your trunk, for example, and you can throw other stuff in there and it's not going to hurt it. It's going to protect the cells. They're not going to get damaged. And so, so we have those available for sale um, as an option when you buy this old build, right? But of course, because this is the DIY open source project where you can uh, order all this stuff. Uh, even these bus parts right here, these are uh, the aluminum reinforcements, right? That, that are gonna carry all that stuff. Even have the big terminal connectors that I've designed for that, for these batteries. In here, you, there's links on there, right? I think these ones are gonna be available. They're not available quite yet, but stay tuned if you're interested in that. They are available if you buy the battery completely made like that already assembled. So if you're looking into that also, yeah, uh, there's gonna be a jack35.com. But there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you are building one of these batteries and one of these projects, you're downloading the, CAD, the, the Gerber files, or you're printing them yourself and you're doing them and you change it or modify them, do let us know. Send us an email at jehu at jack35.com and we want to see your projects, right? Because a lot of people are using these batteries in their own builds. We always like to see what people are doing with our products, right? So there you go. This is... Uh, the fat version of the 148 amp hour, 12 volt LEV60 cell uh, audio battery. As always, all the links to the project is on the description of this video. I want to thank uh, PCB Way for sponsoring. Thank you, PCB Way. As always, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.
had never been easier to build a DIY battery system. We live in the greatest time in history. Take a look at this fool. I mean, just look at him. Is that guy normal? I don't think he's all there. Uh -huh. Oh, he is low IQ. An example of the lowest kind in our society. And if he can do it. And if he can do it. He can do it. What does that say about you? So, just get up and do it. Are you really going to wait until a complete collapse of the electrical grid to worry about this? Are you really going to wait? What does that say about you? Just wait until all the lights go off and your precious TikTok goes dark. You oblivious fool, don't be that guy. Well, are you? Seize the moment. Build it, build it, build it, build the power wall.